we find our way to child's pose, knees wide, big toes together. Come up, forehead to come to rest on the mat. And begin to find your breath. Start to notice your own inhalation and exhalation. The expansion of the breath through the back body. And as we move through our practice this evening, we're going to do some side bending and some twisting. I'd like you to pay attention to where the breath is traveling in the body. We're going to use the breath to open the body more deeply and to stay grounded. Child's pose here, you can allow the fingertips to walk towards your right. Maybe coming off to the side of the mat, so the left side of the body is a little longer. Yeah, you can. Reaching the left fingertips a little bit further away. Noticing the stretch through the left armpit, maybe the side waist. Sending the breath up the left side of the root cage. Inhale, walking the fingertips back from center. Reaching the hands out in front of the floor. Slide ourselves forward to table position. Stacking the hips over the knees, letting the hands come just in front of the shoulders. We'll take a few breaths here, so take a moment to send the tail back and the crown of the head is drawing forward to get as long through the spine as you can. And then inhale as the belly drops down, the tail lifts and the heart comes forward. Exhale as we press the hands and round, dropping the tail, rounding through the spine. Inhale, belly drops down, enter your tilt to the pelvis, heart comes forward. Exhale, posterior tail to the round, spread the shoulder blades wide. Continue to move here, inhale. And exhale. Moving your own pace in and out. Exhale. Inhale, the belly drops down, anterior tilt. Exhale, the front child's pose. Inhale, rise up, hands and knees, anterior tilt to the pelvis, heart comes forward. Exhale, child's pose. It's finding the flow here, inhale as we move forward, and to your tilt. Exhale as you press back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale as you press Bring the right hand in a little and step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So you can keep the hand, the right hand on the inside, or you can bring it to the outside as so you slide forward and lift through the chest. 
and then exhale as you press back. Let the hips sink back and round through the spine. Then you're going to inhale, slide forward, pelvis slide forward, chest lifts. Exhale as you press back and round. Inhale, forward. Side to side through the hips, 
maybe the upper body sway side to side, maybe adding movement of the head, whatever feels good to you right now. Releasing the hands down towards the mat. We'll inhale as we lengthen to a flat back with four. And exhale as we fold. Inhale, lengthen to a flat back. Belly draws in and up. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, we're down through the feet and rise all the way to stand. So taking your time, all the way up, so the arms. Inhale, exhale, hands against the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, soften both knees and step the left foot back. So fingertips come in line with that front heel. Take the right outer hip that's leg that's forward and hug the hip down and back. Press straight down through that front heel and press the left leg, engage the left leg, and press the heel straight back. Belly draws in and up so you're not hanging out on that front leg. I'm going to take another breath in here and a breath out. Plant both hands, step it back to plank. Knees come down, child pose. Inhale as we rise up to the table. Anterior tilt to the pelvis. Curl the toes, press up and back to stand up. Inhale as the left leg comes back behind. Exhale as we step the left foot forward. Stacking the left knee over the left heel. Left outer hip hugs down. Press the right heel back, legs engage. And press straight down through that front heel. So belly draws in and up. Fingertips are aligned at that front heel. And then start to draw, instead of just looking forward or reaching forward at the top of the head, think of reaching forward through, through the back of the head, reaching the crown forward as you press the chin back in space. Take a full breath in. Here we go. Inhale here. Exhale, we set the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and root down through both heels. And then rise up here, bring the hands to the thighs, and find Utkatasana. So hands are going to come to the thighs to begin. We'll enter your tilt the pelvis. <laughs> Stick the low back. Press straight down through the heels, and then pull the heels apart. At the same time, start to think about using the breath to lift the front of the body, to lift the belly up away from the pelvis, away from the thighs. And then maybe use the hands a little, a little bit more, or maybe if this feels okay and you feel like you've got control of this, the arms can come to the sky. And breathe. Keep pressing straight down through the heels and pulling them apart. And exhale as you fold forward and let it go. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fingertips come down, root down through both feet, and step the right foot back. Take a breath in here. And then plant the right hand just off of the right side of the mat. Left hand's going to come to the left thigh or left hip, and then press into that back leg, draw the belly in and up, and start to think about lifting the rib cage away from the thigh. So not just spinning to the sky, think about pulling away and starting to spin to the sky. Inhale as we find our right back through center. Plant both hands down, step it back to plank. Knees come down, child pose. Inhale, the table, anterior tilt. 
Exhale, press up and back to down bow. Inhale as the right leg comes to the sky. Exhale as the right foot steps forward. So again, find that runner's lunge, firm up here. Find stability in that front leg, and then bring the left hand off the left side of the mat. So you can up onto your fingertips, or you can have the palm down. Find a little bit of rotation here, so we have an externally rotated shoulder on the left side. And the right hand comes to the right thigh, and we start to pull ourselves up. Make some space or between the hip and the pelvis, between the ribs and the thigh, hip and the pelvis, that's the same spot. <sighs> Inhale as we come back through center, look forward, and step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down through both feet. Press straight down from the heels. Pull the heels apart. Rise up. Find Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit above back. Lift through front body. Maybe arms to the sky. Maybe using the hands still for support. But breathing into the front of the body here so that you're lifting and not just compressing through the back body. So the idea here is as you breathe into the front body, and lift, 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 lift the front of the ribs up. We're not pushing into the low back. We're just creating more length in the front body. Take another breath in. And exhale as you fold forward and let it go. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. We're down from both feet, rise all the way to stand. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Flat back as you lengthen. Fingertips come down, step the left foot back. Find that runner's lunge, lining up that front heel. Stacking the knee over the heel. Hugging that right hip back. Reaching forward as you reach back, belly draws in and up, full breath in. And breath out. Then the hands, to the back to plank. Right foot. Inhale to your eyes up, table, anterior tip, curl the toes, press up and back, down up. Inhale as the left leg comes back behind, set the left foot through. Same action here, press the right heel back, left heel straight down. Reaching through the back of the head forward, belly draws in and up, reaching through the right heel back. Take a breath in, and a breath back. Inhale here. Exhale, step it forward. We're down to both feet. Rise up, find the top side. Pull the heels apart, press straight down to the heels, pull them apart, belly goes in. Lift, create space in the front body. Inhale. Exhale as we fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingertips come down. Step back with the right foot. As the right heel presses back, the right hand comes off the right side of the mat. Fingertips can turn a little bit to the side, and then find that exter ex external rotation of that right arm. Hug the back through the upper back shoulder, and start to peel away from the thigh with the rib cage. So instead of just pulling away, try to find maybe that little bit of the anterior tilt of the pelvis, and start to peel away from that front thigh, and maybe you start to wrap open, Maybe the arm reaches up and over in the same direction that the head is going. Inhale here, plant the hands, set it back to the leg, child's pose, table, and your toe, down up. Send the left leg back behind. Sorry, the right leg back behind as you didn't know. Set the right foot forward. Now, as you're here, left fingertips walk off the left side of the mat. Find that external rotation, a little bit of spinning the bicep around. Pressing back through the left heel, 
start to peel away from that thigh. Maybe the right arm will reach in the direction that your head is going, the upper body is moving.
And if you have the space in your world to do so, meaning your IT band, you'd like to walk the fingertips to the right side. That's the outer edge of that front foot. Go ahead. Right. And for some of us, that's a lot of sensation, and that's okay. Just kind of find your edge that works. Nice. Take another breath in. Let go. Come back to center here. Step the back foot back to a low lunge position. So it comes back to the left and back a little. Bring the back knee down. Stack the hands on that front thigh. Grab the belly in and up. And then reach the left arm to the sky and start to find the side bend here. So you might keep that front, um, that right arm on the right thigh or hand on the thigh. Or you might let the fingertips come over to the floor. Or maybe use a block here. <laughs> Step it back to plank. Now you're going to move chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or child's pose. Have pose, down dog. And you're taking a breath or two in a down dog, just noticing the difference from one side to the other. And then once you're ready to do so, send the left leg back behind. Bend the knee and wrap the hip open. As you wrap the hip open, flex the foot. Find that E version of the foot, that means reaching through the pinky side edge of the foot, like you're trying to pull it to the outer edge of the knee. And then from here, you're reaching back with that leg, like you're trying to touch your neighbor behind you. Give them a low tap. <laughs> Inhale to send the left leg straight to the sky. Exhale, hug the knee in, and step the left foot to the left thumb. Nice job, guys. <laughs> you got this. Root down through both feet, rise up here at high lunge. So hug the back hip down, pressing through that back, uh, that back leg, so that leg fires up. And then inhale as the right hand comes down. Starting to find your twist, left arm comes to the sky. Inhale, both hands come to the mat. We rotate so the torso comes forward. Step the back foot in and over to the left. So this is where we find that little cross legged position. You will find that one side is tighter than the other. That's okay. And so maybe you stay in the center here, or maybe you let the fingertips walk over to that left side. Fingertips back through center. Set the right foot back and out. Right knee comes down. Rise up here to Anjana Asana, our low lunge. Starting with the hands on the thighs, so we pull up and away so we're not um, collapsing into the front thigh. Left hand can come to the thighs, the right arm reaches to the sky. And then we start to find our way up and over. And so maybe you take one of these variations, forearms to the thigh, hands to the thigh. Or maybe because you're reaching so far up on that right side, eventually you start to come over. You can find a block or find the ground. Inhale here to find our back to center. Find both hands. Step it back to plank. And again, chaturanga or up dog or child's pose. Take 
table with an anterior tilt. And then everyone up and back to down. And again, shifting a little from side to side, pedaling out if that works for you. Inhale here to send the right leg back behind. Exhale, hook the right knee in and step the right foot to the right thumb. Look down through both feet here as we rise up to high lunge. And then open here into warrior two. So pressing straight down through that front heel. Find a little bit of extra rotation to that front thigh. So instead of thinking, uh, press the knee straight across, think rotating through the thigh. Pressing through the outer edge of that back foot and then hugging the feet towards each other. So you gain a little bit of buoyancy and a little extra work in the legs. Here. We'll flip the front palm and reverse the warrior, getting the long to the right side. Arms can 
come straight out to the sides. The hands can always come to the hips. Flip the front palm and reverse the warrior. Inhale here as you rise back up to warrior two. Turn that back heel in, or back heel out, toes in slightly, and straighten through that front leg. Hands come to the hips, and bring the gaze towards the big toe. And as we start to fold here, let the chin come towards the big toe until you're as far as you can go with that front leg straight. And let the left hand come down and start to rotate through the rib cage. You might notice you'll pop back up a little. That's okay, maybe you pop back up and then you sink back down. Maybe you pop back up and you stay there. It doesn't matter. Inhale here as both hands come down to the mat. Rotate that back foot and step it in, half to three quarters of the way. Hug the left hip crease back. Inhale as you lengthen to a flat back, and then exhale as you begin to fold over that front leg. While you're down here, take a look at the front foot and see if you can engage the outer edge of the foot. In other words, either foot. So the big toe side presses down. The outer edge of the foot engages, so maybe it starts to lift a little off of the mat. You might see some veins in your foot activate in the outer edge of the foot. With the fingertips walk forward, the front knee soft a little, and then shift and find that standing split or the standing L. Inhale, here's just in the right leg back behind. Exhale, hug the right knee in and step the right foot to the right thumb. Fingertips come down, press to that back heel, and again draw the back of the skull forward as you draw the chin back in space. And then plant that left hand down. And as you do so, take the middle finger and turn it out slightly. So Maybe a degree or two, not too far. And then bend that left elbow. See where it bends to. And then spin it back in towards your rib cage. So if this was your arm was at your side, it would be spinning into your rib cage. It just happens to be further away. From here, draw the belly in and up. And maybe that right foot will slide back. Left foot rotates to a side plank variation. Maybe we come all the way to side plank. Maybe a lifted top foot. And then inhale, rotate back around to uh, plank. Set the right foot back forward. Mm -hmm. Left knee comes down. Mm -hmm. Rise up. Press into that front thigh again. Belly draws in and up. Maybe grabbing onto your walk. Bring it outside your right hip. Left arm reaches up and over. So let's take a moment here as we do so. Reach up and over and get 
long through the left side without collapsing down on the right. So we're just going to reach, reach, reach to the sky. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. And see if maybe we find that block. See if maybe we find the floor, whatever your wherever you're moving towards.
which side is more open, almost instantly. We'll then half here to release the hands back to center. We'll lift up the back knee, step the back foot uh, half, quarter of the way in. Finding a long pyramid pose. The hands come down to the mat, we lengthen. And then start to, that left hand can come over to the left. It'll be a fine as a block right away. You maintain this position of the hips of the legs. You rotate the rib cage open. Find the position for that back foot, so maybe the heel drops down. And then we start to reach right arm up and over, finding a side bend, maybe even beginning to find a little bit of a back bend here. Inhale here as you come back from center. Find the hands. Set it back. And find child's pose. Walking with fingertips away a little, so the arms lift up off of the mat. Bring the forehead off of the mat, we'll inhale. Exhale as we thread the left arm underneath the right. Coming to the outside of the shoulder. Reaching the left fingertips through. Let the side of the head come down. And finding your breath here. That right arm can stay extended towards the top edge of your mat. It can also find its way around your back. So I'm going to rest on the back for a half bind. Inhale as you find my way back through center. Extend the left arm back. Press into the hands. We rise it off of the mat a little. Thread the right arm underneath. Come to the outside of the shoulder. Let the side of the head come down. Walk the left fingertips either towards the top edge of the mat, the front edge of the mat up here. Or maybe the arm comes back behind. For a half bind, finding what works for you. Inhale as you find your way back from center. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and slowly press up and back to a seated position. <coughs> We're going to into a uh, hip opener here. So we into ankle chain. Not everybody loves this variation, but I'll demonstrate it first and then I can give you some other options. So stacking knee over ankle, ankle over knee. Everting the foot, so pressing down from the pinky side edge. 
If your hips are really tight, you can come to sit on a block or a blanket. It'll help to anterior tilt pelvis, which gives you a little bit more mobility. If you have a thicker block, which we have here, kind of getting set up on it can be like, is this right? But once you do, you're good. You're not going anywhere. And you can be here, or if it works for you, you can slowly fold forward to any degree. Take a few more breaths here. Walking the fingertips in. I did not do a very good job of instructing which side to go first. That's okay. But just stay where you are for a moment. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to walk your fingertips towards the top foot. So whatever side that is for you, you walk the hands across. Get a little bit of a stretch, that's the side you're reaching to. There's a little bit of a twist. There's a little bit of a side bend here. Nope, same, same side as the top. Yep, reaching to the foot. We're just all going different ways. Take another breath or two here. Slowly walk the fingertips 
back in and then finding the direction of that top flip. Walking over to that side. If the second side is your tighter side, you're gonna know this right away. When you come into this pose, you're gonna be like, oh man, why does that hurt so bad? And so if that's the case and you're feeling like you're not feeling tension releasing through the hip, think about releasing that outer hip down towards the mat because it will tend to want to pop up when you start to reach away from it to lessen the stretch. Use those um, outer hip and glute muscles that we've been using all class to pull down and away. Take another breath into here. And then slowly releasing back for seven. Bring your right foot down. Scoop the hips. First back through center and then over to the left side. Send the right leg, hug the left knee in. Pressing through that right foot as if you're standing on it. And slowly allow that left knee to come across towards the right side of the body for a spine twist.
Shavasana. Join the body and the mind to come together on the mat. Absorbing all that is good of your practice. All that is of service to you today. Allowing any lingering tension to melt out of the body. Allowing the bones to be heavy. Muscles to be soft. The mind to be to eventually bring you to a seated position. Either with the hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra, or both hands placed over the heart. We'll close our practice by joining 
joining our voices in the sound of the Om. We'll inhale together. Namaste. Namaste.